Hey, it's me again. I'm gonna start this out by saying that my husband said the other day, you know, you probably ought not to do one of those every day because they're gonna get tired of seeing you. And um, I thought about that for a second and then I thought, well, I've been with you like almost every day for the last 16 years. You tired of seeing me? <laughs> but anyway, if y'all don't want to watch my makeup videos, you don't have to, but it's fun and I have to put my makeup on anyway today and I thought about something that I have not shown you yet. So, um, I wanted to show you today. So, first thing I'm going to do is I've already got my foundation on and I've already got my lip liner on and I already did my eyebrows because I thought we'll save us some time doing that. Um, but today, I gotta go pick the kids up from school. And usually, when I pick them up from school, I stay in the car. Hey, Colleen, thank you. Um, usually when I pick up the kids from school, I stay in the car. Well, today is open house. So, I have to get out of the car. And not only do I have to get out of the car, I have to speak to all of Lainey's teachers. So, I certainly don't want to embarrass her. Can we just talk for just a second, though, about how ridiculously hot it is here in South Mississippi? I had to get dressed today because I have to go inside the school. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Um, I had to go inside the school and... Um, Oh, yeah, I have a binder clip in my hair. Do y'all see that? I couldn't find my headband. <laughs> so, whatever works. We got these everywhere. It's a little tip for y'all. Just smack a binder clip up in your hair. So, anyway, I have to get out of school, and I don't want to go up in there in my Nike shorts and my tank top. So, I had to put on jeans. It is so hot in Mississippi. It is too hot to be wearing jeans, but you gotta do what you gotta do because you gotta follow the dress code. If you're gonna make them follow the dress code, then you gotta follow the dress code when you go up in there too. So, I got my jeans on. Um, so, the first thing that I wanted to show y'all though is, and it's kinda cloudy outside, but hopefully y'all can still see this. I'm standing over my toilet again, and I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to have Blake build me a makeup table right here above my toilet. That way I can just sit here and do my makeup and not have to worry about propping all this stuff on the back of the toilet. All right, so I'm gonna do eyeshadow for y'all, um, and I'm gonna show y'all some things that are not in the classic couture because we do have other great things. Now, one thing um, that a lot of people have asked me about is, one, we want some eyeshadow that's not super shimmery. For some reason, some women think that when you get to be a certain age, you can't wear shimmer in your eyeshadow. Can I just tell you the truth? If you are 24 years old and you want to wear shimmer eyeshadow, that's fine. If you are 35 years old and you want to wear shimmer eyeshadow, wear it. If you are 55 years old and you want to put glitter from here to here, do it. There are no rules. If it makes you feel good and you feel like you look good, then go for it, girl. But I'm going to show you some eyeshadows today that we have that aren't shimmer plus they are not brown and they're not gray. So, here we go. I said I was gonna show y'all smoky but not too smoky because this is actually, hey, thumbs up. This is actually a smoky look that you can do with pinks and plums. Daddy, yes, 57. You can wear glitter eyeshadow when you're 57. No problem. All right, so let me show you. Y'all don't look at my bathroom. It's a mess again. Um, first thing we're gonna do is I've got four colors of eyeshadow right here. They're in this thing is called a Z palette. I don't know if y'all have ever seen a Z palette, but they're awesome. All of our makeup at Alouette comes in these metal trays and they fit down in our compacts. But this place called Z palette makes a big one that is just one solid magnet, and then you can put your whole all your colors in one place. So this is a Z palette, and I'm going to show y'all, first of all, the first color that I'm going to use is yogurt. So what I'm going to do with yogurt, and I want to tell y'all how to use our brushes too. So what I'm going to do with yogurt is I'm going to take the yogurt and I'm just going to put it all over my eyelid from my brow all the way down to my eyelashes. So we'll do this on both eyes. Is anybody watching? Sometimes I feel like I'm just doing this by myself, which would be okay. Just a crazy woman standing in her bathroom mirror window, putting on her makeup and talking to herself. All right, so we've got yogurt all over your whole eyelid from your eyebrow all the way down to your eyelashes, both sides. All right, so this is not 
shimmery. I don't know if you can see this, but it is not shimmery. This is a matte color, so it doesn't have any of that glitter or any of that shimmer in it. So if you don't feel like you should wear glitter or shimmer for whatever reason, then this is your color. I used for that our shadow brush. It's like a wide, flat brush. That's what I use for that. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is we have a color called Rose Clay. This is Rose Clay. All right. So rose clay is kind of in between a pink and a purple. All right, so you're gonna take, and I have a pinkish purple shirt on today, so I'm gonna be matchy matchy. So I'm gonna take this rose clay, and I'm gonna take, we have a brush at Alouette called Multi-Use Brush. It comes in our seven piece brush set, and I like this one for just doing my lid. So from the crease of my eye all the way down to my lashes, I'm gonna take and put a good bit of rose clay on there, and then just put that all over my eyelid. So I'm going to do that on both sides. And you can kind of stipple it. Y'all know how I know that word stippling? Because I was a child of the 80s. And when during the 80s, every time my mama would go to decorate something in the house, she'd just pull out a stencil and she'd stencil a goose on something using some craft paint and a stipple brush. So, a little craft term for you too. Just stipple that all over your eyelid. Thanks, mama. Okay, so this one is also, see that? It's not shimmer. There's no shimmer there. All right, so now I remembered today to bring my business card in here so that I don't have to use a piece of magazine that's on the floor over here. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do a smoky eye, but it's not gonna be too smoky to go to the open house at the middle school. So now we've got, um, if you're recapping, we've got yogurt all over our lid. Not actual yogurt, just eyeshadow yogurt. Um, and then we've got rose clay here. All right, so now I'm gonna take a brush that we have that is called a contour brush. It's just a round brush, round on the end. And I'm gonna take this color here. It's just a plum color that we have at Alouette, any kind of plum color. But this is just our beautiful purpley plum that we have. And I'm gonna put do, 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 sound effects. I'm gonna put some on my contour brush. Oh my gosh, I just remembered something. I forgot that I was gonna show y'all something else you can do on your eyelid before you put your eyeshadow on. But I can't do it now because I already got my eyeshadow on. So I guess I have to show you next time. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Take my business card, go right there. So I don't get eyeshadow all down here on my cheekbone. And I'm just gonna do just that one little V right there on the side. So in the past, we've done that V and gone all the way across your eyelid like a windshield wiper motion. But this is just gonna give it a little bit smokier on the outside. And then we're gonna pull it in with our eyeliner brush across our eyelid. So. There's that on that side. All right, now don't worry if it looks a little funky right there. We're gonna blend it all back together in just a second. Isn't that pretty? Those three colors so far together. All right, so I'm gonna do this on the other side. All right, here we go. So do the same thing. We should do a V, just like this. Eye makeup, sound effects, in effect. Is anybody there? Can I have some thumbs up or some hearts or something? I just need to know. Is anybody watching this video right now? All right, so here we go. All right, so now I got both eyes, just the outside corner. Ain't nobody there. Outside corner here, outside corner here. All right, so now you've got that done on both sides, right? Okay, so now before we blend all of this together, uh-oh, I don't have my eyeliner brush. Hmm, we're gonna have to make do, y'all. All right, so we're gonna make do. Let's say, hey, I don't have a powder eyeliner brush. I can't put my powder eyeliner brush on because I don't have a powder eyeliner brush. Go back with your multi-use brush right here. See, it's kind of slanted, all right? Now you're gonna put that same deeper shade, the plum color, right on the tip, and then just pat it right across your tops of your lashes. So you don't really necessarily have to have a pencil or even a powder eyeliner brush to get that effect of having that smoky eyeliner across your lid. There you go. So we just drag that on both sides. All right. Ta-da! That looks real good. Okay, so here we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna put on a little mascara 
and then I'm going to show y'all um, a lip thing. So we have these lip specials. Um, are any of my Alouette consultants on here? If you could post in the comments, there is a special this month on some lips, and I forgot the name of it, but it is Passionberry Gloss Stick Look Alive and Blossom Lip Definer. So if somebody knows the name of this special, will you please post it in the comments? Whenever you think of it, whatever it is, it's on this month's lip, flyer and I have forgotten it. So if you can look that up real quick, I'm going to show you all that in just a second, how to do matte lips. It is, it's a file clip right here. You just got to do what you got to do, Nikki Gibson. You just got to do what you got to do. All right, so couldn't find my headband <laughs> or any bobby pins. So it's probably with my tweezers. All right, so this is actually just our intensity mascara, not the intensity stretch. I didn't want my intensity mascara to think that just because I had intensity stretch now that it wasn't going to get any love. So I'm just going to do some good old intensity mascara right there. So remember when we do our mascara, I don't know if you watched that video or not, but you do three strokes in that's going to line your eyebrow, your eyelashes where they stick up. My friend April Overstreet taught me that a long time ago at a sales meeting and it has always stuck with me. All right, so three up. Right, so then you're gonna go three out. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, and just to be real quick about it, I'm just gonna wiggle across my bottom lashes because it ain't that big a deal today. All right, so my eyes are done. All right, so now I'm gonna do the lip thing and I can't remember what it's called, but I want y'all to know that if you like it, Alouette has it on sale this month, but it's something about pink, but I don't know what it is. So I'm hopefully, I see that there are some Alouette consultants on here. Hopefully somebody will be able to tell us what the name of this is. But all the rage right now is um, matte lips or super shimmery lips. Charlene, you can curl your lashes if you want to. Yeah, girl, you can, you totally can. It's kind of a, Yes, yeah, a September special, Wayne. Um, I just didn't do it today, but sometimes when I'm going on a date or, you know, going to church or something, sometimes I might curl my eyelashes if I have enough time. All right, here we go. Oh, I posted them in consultant share lane. Okay, so now I just have relined. This is one of our waterproof mechanical lip definer pencils, the ones that are waterproof. This one is called Blossom, um, and so it's waterproof, so it'll stay on all day. But then I'm gonna take the brush end of it, and I'm gonna take this Passionberry Gloss Stick. It's like if a lipstick and a lip gloss got together and they had a little baby, it would be a gloss stick. So I'm gonna take my brush, well, you know what, this is mine, so I'm just gonna do this, and put this on my lips. Now, when you look at this, you might think, Lord have mercy at the pink lips. And if you want to do this, girl, do it. Okay? But, if you want more of a matte look, I'm about to show you a trick. We have something called Look Alive. It's an under eye brightening powder. Okay? And I love Look Alive. Comes in a little jar, just like this. But I'm going to show you how to mattify your lipstick using... Your look alive. We're like MacGyver. All right, so I'm going to take my look alive. It's just a powder. Yeah, the Gimme Love set. That's what it is. Gimme Love. All right, so you're going to take your brush on the end of your um, lip liner and you're just going to put that powder all over your lips. You can rub it in if you want to, or you can just apply it with the brush. Velvet, everybody needs look alive. Amen. All right, let's see. This is great for around your eyes, too. But I don't know if you can really tell. But what it did was it took that, <laughs> it took that lip color, toned it down a little bit, and it made it a matte. And then you can always go back with this pencil, the brush end of your lip liner, and straighten things up. And then, like I said the other day, if we want to make our lips a little more pouty, look a little more full. Then you just take, whoop, hey oh. Then you just take your highlight from your Classic Couture 2 that you ordered. If you haven't ordered it yet, holler, I'll fix you up. Put a little bit right there in your Cupid's bag. 
that's what that's called and then a little bit here underneath your lips now when my friend Bethany did a video the other day she was talking about how you're never fully dressed unless first of all you take that hair down especially if it's in a binder clip and you put your earrings on I might be late to the game on this one and if I am y'all don't make fun of me but these are the coolest earrings like I'm I'm kind of addicted to them do y'all wear climbers it makes you look kind of hardcore when you're actually just a mama of a 10 and a seven year old but it looks like you got multiple piercings it's crazy so you just take your little climber earring it's got a special little back on it all right so if any of y'all saw me at conference and thought that girl i wonder how many holes that girl's got in her ears <laughs> it's really just one and then you just wiggle that up on your earlobe smush it a little bit and look at there looks like you got Maybe at least a couple of holes in your ears. Anyway, makes me feel a little bit younger. <laughs> 35 this month, y'all. 35. I keep getting all these birthday specials in my emails and on my text message today. Everybody wants you to shop when it's your birthday. All right, y'all. Look, thank you so much for joining in today. Remember, like I said, you know what? If you think that it's just too much and I'm doing this too often, let me know because I don't want to be embarrassed, but also just tune out. <laughs> All right. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.